And there's no floor, no floor in sight. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing an epic reset of my entire apartment. We are going to declutter and deep clean because it's bad in here. It's really bad and I've been putting it off for like weeks, honestly. My apartment has never looked this bad. It's never gotten this dirty, so I'm really overwhelmed, but I'm gonna get through it today. We're gonna do it together. I feel like the only way I'm gonna get through it and actually finish it is if I film it, so I'm filming video for YouTube and on my TikTok and Instagram, I'll have like a quicker one. But I wanted to do an in-depth one over here on YouTube because I feel like for people with like depression and anxiety and ADHD especially, like it can just be so hard to, I don't know, clean. Like that's not an excuse, obviously. Like I feel disgusting. I feel like, you know, which you're not disgusting. You're not gross. Like this is, it's our living space. It's meant to get messy, but it's just, you know, we gotta clean it. We gotta clean it. I hope you enjoy. This is literally so sad like I <laughs> it's gonna feel so good when it's done but this is literally when I say it's like the last thing I want to do right now it's like after that if this wasn't like this everything would be fine but it is and there's no floor no floor in sight so we have to fix that I personally can find it really challenging to maintain a clean space, but whenever my space is clean, I feel so much better. I really let my apartment get out of hand, especially my bedroom. As you can see, like there literally, I couldn't even walk in my closet. Like it was so bad. Taking the time to clean my space was so worth it. I felt so much better after and I don't know, there's like that saying a cluttered space is a cluttered mind and I really think that is true even though it can be really hard for me to like clean and maintain it i feel like i feel so much better when it is clean which is like so annoying because i wish it wasn't like that but like it is so we gotta just keep up with the cleaning and not let it get as bad as it was in this video but if your place is bad like mine don't worry you can watch this video and clean along with me or put on a reality tv show i've been obsessed with like love is blind or blast your favorite playlist. I kind of like bounce around depending on the task I'm doing. Another time, another space in its wine, yesterday's. It's the next day, if you couldn't tell. We are going to finish cleaning today. I got my period, which really explains the past week and why I've been the way I've been. Normally, I try to let myself rest during my period, especially the first day, but my apartment is too disgusting to live in right now, so we have to clean it, even though we're in so much pain. I took medicine, but <sighs> I have PCOS. I don't know if it's PCOS or what, but I get really bad, painful periods, but we're gonna clean through it because I need to get it done. You know, I just want to like prove to myself that I can do, you know, hard things, which I know I can, but I feel like I get in my head a lot. I really don't want to do this, like more than I didn't want to do it yesterday, but now I have my period, so it's like even more, but we're gonna do it. And I want to show you guys that you can do hard things even when you don't want to, and I have to show myself too. <laughs> Some people on Instagram said I was lying about how much laundry I had because of how many clothes I had to wash and I totally get that it looks like extreme but when I moved into my apartment I was not as physically able as I am now because of my car accident so now that I'm more recovered I've been starting to bring stuff from my parents house to my apartment because obviously this is where I live now when I first moved I really just brought the essentials but now I'm bringing over like all the clothes I want to have here I just thought that was a random funny side note I people always think I'm lying about everything and I'm like I'm not but anyways there was just so much laundry it was so overwhelming but I did it and I was watching love is Blind while doing it love is blind gets me through a lot of things i'm not even kidding i'm watching it while editing this video obviously not during this voiceover but like been obsessed with love is blind i'm watching it for the third time over i'm just like really loyal to my shows it's kind of weird but yeah i just i really like get dedicated to the characters i'm like sad that it ended so i'm like well i'll just rewatch it <laughs> sometimes tasks like cleaning can just feel so big and overwhelming and 
impossible at times. Something that I definitely struggle with is being all or nothing with like a lot of things. So I'm either gonna sit in my filth or I'm gonna clean my entire apartment basically. And obviously I was sitting in my filth for a little bit here. If you have a really big task, I would try breaking it down. That really helps me. Like I said, sometimes I'm very all or nothing so it can be hard, but just choosing to like clean one counter or like just start with the dishes or just do one thing that hopefully will be like a domino effect and then everything else will follow um at least that's the hope <laughs> and obviously if you don't clean everything at once that's totally fine like because each thing you do is just adding to the task being done if that makes sense anyways then i vacuumed and literally my carpet looked like a different color at the end of it it was crazy Today we reached 40,000 YouTube subscribers, which is so crazy to me. I, for a while, I really thought my YouTube channel like died, not to be dramatic, um, as I am, but, <laughs> but I feel like it's been coming back to life and I'm so excited. I've been trying to post consistently. So if you guys have any video requests, please leave them down below. I'm so excited. I like didn't even have like a number goal, but like I've just been growing really fast through YouTube shorts. Um, so i just want to say thank you guys so much and if you're from youtube shorts thank you for being here i just want to say thank you guys so much for all your support i feel like on instagram and tiktok and even youtube shorts it's faster content so i don't always get to you know express how appreciative and thankful i am for all of you i really do not take it for granted and you know even though i do struggle with depression and everything which does get in the way of me making videos sometimes you know, it doesn't mean I don't love it and I don't love you guys because this is like literally my passion, my dream, literally since I was like a little kid. So um, I do not take it for granted and I love you guys so very much and just thank you for being here. If you're new here or maybe you just don't know, I've done YouTube since like 2011, but on this channel 2012, which is literally so insane to think about, but I've literally lived like 50 different lives since then. <laughs> I'm just kidding, kind of, but I'm so excited to be back on YouTube and like making more long form content because I really do love it and I love connecting with you guys and long form is definitely where I feel like I thrive I love long form because it just feels like we're hanging out like we're besties and that's what I feel like you guys are to me so I used to do cleaning videos on my channel they were some of my favorite to film and I'm so happy to be like filming one again and getting back into it I was so happy I finally got this done today I just feel like it was such a huge weight lifted off my shoulder and I'm so happy I did it so if you need to clean too get on it watch this video I believe in you guys you guys are so strong you got this and I'm so proud of you think about how good you're gonna feel after you know i did not want to do this in the beginning but it feels so good once you're done random side note i just love how brinley like follows me around i think it's the cutest thing ever and she's just like my little sidekick brinley's my cat if you don't know i'm obsessed with her my little tuxedo baby if you don't know i rescued her off the streets of queens it's kind of a crazy story but yeah she's my little rescue baby and i love her so very much I hope you guys enjoyed cleaning with me. I love you and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye guys.